This is the movie review for Get Out. Right now, I had to run home because this movie was so terrifying and it's so close to home. This guy who's been dating this woman for five months, they've gotten very close. And she's ready to introduce him to her family. And she's all excited about taking him to meet the family. And they go all the way to these, like this place in the woods where her family lives. And everyone in the town that comes to visit are very weird. You know, they're very strange around black people. And, you know, she hasn't told her parents that he's black and he's she's like well my parents you know you know don't judge them and you know like they're not like they're they're modern you know they'll like you so she's trying to basically get him to meet the family and you know become part of the family once he gets there, you know, he he goes through a lot of the stereotypes that a lot of blacks, you know, run into when they are around a bunch of white people that white people don't even know they do. It's, they just don't mean it too much. But the tone of this movie is he finds out that everyone in his town is a little weird. All the black people in the town, they, it's like they've been suburbanized almost <laughs> They're like other people. They're more like the white people that live in the town. And they're like weird and freaking out at night. And her mother is into hypnosis. And, you know, the town is just weird. And the more and more he's starting to see things for what they are, they start to change. Jason Peel wrote this movie. Uh, from K and Peel, he wrote and directed this film, and it's a it's a horror slash comedy, but it it hits on so many stereotypes that you commonly see or hear about when talking about like African Americans and the in going to the suburban lifestyle, how the differences are and. From the city life, the inner city to the suburbs. And you see how they act, you know, towards you. And it's funny because a lot of, like, white people, they act like that with blacks, you know. Because they want to be cool or want to be like. But they don't know, like, some of the stereotype, t typical things they do. Like, they were mentioning Tiger Woods. And, <laughs> like, you know, I like golfing. You know, I love Tiger. You know, like... <laughs> Like that was the like that was gonna win over, and win his b support because he's black. <laughs> that was gonna make everything cool. It was just too funny. Like a lot of these lies because, like you've heard these before if you're black. This will really hit home if you're black and you're watching this because you've seen this happen. About time this movie's over. The movie has a great ending, and when it's over, you want to get out. I'm surrounded by none but white folks, so when this was over, I'm like, I'm. this is not a day I could be around white folks. I got to get home and get out. And that's all this movie is telling you. Get out. And I said, no problem. And this is like a homage to the, um, the Amityville horror when the house told to get people to get out and they stuck around. Get out. Get out. And they're like, man, the host told them to get out. And they still stayed. <laughs> so now it's like, get out. No problem. I'm out. <laughs>